What's up YouTube? This is just a quick video on Planescape Torment fixes for graphical issues. Uh, this may work for other Infinity Engine games such as Baldur's Gate or Icewind Dale or the second versions of those games, but Planescape uses a modified version of the Infinity Engine so I'm not sure if it'll actually work for those, but you can go ahead and try out on those if you want. Just going to show you an example of what I'm actually talking about uh, with this graphical slowdown. So as you can see it's running really slowly and it's pretty much unplayable and that's on like a pretty fast computer which should be able to play it. This is the good old games version which should work exactly the same as the old version if you've got a box or something like that. So what you're going to want to do to fix it is go to, um, I'll put a link in the description, if you just type in Microsoft Compatibility call, Toolkit, 5.6 is fine, you'll want this here, uh, just click download and that will send you off on your way. You just open it up, click next, I've already installed it so you just go through that installation, it's very very simple. Once it's installed, you're going to want to click on the start menu and type in Compatibility Administrator. The 32-bit version is fine for what you'll be doing, even if you're running on a 64-bit system. So it will show up like this, which looks quite scary at first, but all you want to do is right-click on this uh, golden thing. It's kind of similar to the new button there. Click on the text with the right button, go to create new application fix. You can call this whatever you want, I'm just going to call it torment and then you want to click browse, go to your Planescape folder and double click on torment. Then you click next and you want to look for layer force direct draw emulation. That's all you want to select, click next, and then don't worry about the screen, just click next, and finish. So once that's done, you're going to want to click save. Uh, this box pops up, basically asks you to put a name for um, what will come up in the add remove program. So if you ever want to uninstall that, you can call it something like torment fix, I'll show you this later, uh, then you will get a save file for the fix. So I've already made one, I'm just going to call it that and replace it. Uh, once you've done this, you right click on the golden box piece of text thing again and you just click install. This will install the fix for you and just to show you that it works pretty nicely, or at least for me it does. There you go. Now it is running a little slow because my laptop's recording the screen. But it gives you an idea on how much it actually fixes it. I'll just show you quickly on how to uninstall it. You want to go to Control Panel. If you don't know where that is, then you can easily find something on the internet to tell you. Uh, programs and features and then as you can see here torment fix and you can uninstall that as it is there you go hope it works uh, if anyone wants to give me some feedback if it works on Baldur's Gate that would be brilliant because I'm looking to play Baldur's Gate 2 at some point and it might be running really slow anyway thank you and hope it works for you